I consider myself to be a very passionate person. I don't really wanna do anything that I'm not passionate about. Music was something that was always happening in my household. My mother was some bizarre cross between Diana Ross and Aretha Franklin. She definitely was like, you better learn these background lyrics, little girl, because I'm going to be singing Diana Ross. When I think of Jackie, I think of two things, power and heart. This is my Broadway debut, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Every step she takes is so beautiful because it has so much charisma. We will rock you. I played the killer queen. Yes, I'm always in a giant wig and some sort of corseted something or other. She's just got this like, mm, what's the word? Spunk. Chutzpah. Chutzpah. And then we're in Moulin Rouge land. This was our world premiere in Boston. And this is our Broadway poster from opening night. We as the four Lady M's represent what I think culturally we know as the Moulin Rouge. Whether they're, you know, featured in a particular moment or not, they always sort of serve as this specter in the world. We're, we're the one entity there that will always be there. That's the thing that's like the fishing line and just pulling you forward onto stage. I have to go create magic in terms of vocal warm-ups. If I think I've somehow taken them out of their lives for five minutes and they're happy about it, I'm into it and I have to bathe by Hello Gorgeous. <laughs> one lady the other night was like, he said, I want to make love to each and every one of you. She was like, yeah, and I did my whole show for her. See you in a minute. This is my wife, Shannon. Hello. We have a side hustle business called The Kitchen Chemists. We make topicals that are cannabis infused. Every person who is a dancer and moves, you think about the longevity of your body. The Moulin Rouge is functioning on this here self-care salve. I don't know if I could do Batmas and Deplies for much longer, but I'm gonna try. Cause I, I don't know how to not, it's in my veins. Okay, so now we're going to acupuncture. I did get injured on the show during previews back in June? Yeah. Um, and they got me back to work in four days. It was pretty miraculous, actually. What do I have in common with La Chocolat? I've devised this character to be someone that uh, is nurturing. I like glam on a budget, and I think that's what she does. She is also a tell it like it is. This is who I am, like it or leave it. I can't be begging people to be my friend. The transformation from Jackie to La Chocolat is almost seamless. Our first positions, I literally just stand like this. And I stare at two particular lights on the light tree in the sky. And I physically feel my eyes change. It's like my right side decides. I'm the baddest bitch there ever was, and I gotta go out here and sell it that way. Creole lady mama la. As an artist, as a performing artist, the live audience is literally life. People on stage with you is life. Looking back on on the docu-series, um, I just had a chance to see them all. And what's really funny is I had just done a thing at the theater. I was just at the, the empty theater. I look over at our quick change booth and I had to take a minute because my eyes got all stingy and I was just thinking about you know, laughing and being at work and what my work is, you know what I mean? I don't stare at a computer all day, which is ironic because now that we're in this craziness, I stare at a computer all day. Very early on, I started getting a little bit of cabin fever. We've taken a three week cross country trip back to California, 10 cities in three weeks. 
I believe we were out of town when all of the rioting happened. And that also did not surprise me because I am a 46 year old Californian. I did grow up during Rodney King. Equality is one thing, inclusion is another. Representation of all of that is incredibly important. When we go back and the first night we're back live, my palms are a little bit sweaty because when you're out of the game for a while, you're like, oh shit, can I still do it? Because these notes, I haven't had to hit in six months. So once we get in there like that, it's all of the thing, every emotion you could, the fear, the anticipation, the sheer excitement and the sheer joy by the finale. The way I intend on dancing that finale, that first performance, I might fall off the passerelle, let's be honest, it, it could happen. <laughs>